Have you ever felt like you're highly empathetic, but also prefer solitude? You might be a lone wolf empath. This term, while not officially recognized in psychological jargon, describes a unique experience of being greatly attuned to emotions, yet finding solace in solitude. There's no single recipe that concocts a lone wolf empath. It's a brew that varies, steeped in a blend of life experiences, inherent traits, and personal choices. In this exploration, we'll look at the potential ingredients that might contribute to this unique concoction. From early life experiences that might have shaped such tendencies to the characteristic traits that define them, we'll also delve into the challenges they face and the unique advantages they possess. As we delve into the world of lone wolf empaths, remember, everyone's experience is unique and nuanced. So, let's embark on this journey to understand the lone wolf empath, a being of deep empathy, strong boundaries, and a preference for solitude. What might contribute to someone becoming a lone wolf empath? Let's explore some early life experiences. A lone wolf empath might have been a sensitive child, often overwhelmed by the turbulence of the world around them. Imagine a little one, acutely attuned to emotions and energies, navigating through a chaotic or emotionally intense environment. It's like walking through a storm with no umbrella. To avoid getting drenched, they might have chosen solitude as their shelter, a safe space to protect themselves from the emotional downpour. Now picture a different scenario, a child constantly seeking emotional connection, but their needs are mismatched with those around them. They reach out, but their hands are left hanging in the air, their emotional needs unmet. This rejection or lack of emotional validation can lead to a withdrawal into the self, fostering an early sense of self-reliance. And then there are those who, seemingly born with a preference for solitude, find comfort in their own company. Their natural introversion allows them to process their experiences internally, regardless of specific life events. They are like quiet observers, absorbing the world around them from a distance. These experiences, be it overstimulation, emotional invalidation, or natural introversion, might act as potential stepping stones on the path to becoming a lone wolf empath. However, they aren't definitive. They may set the stage, but they don't write the script. The journey to becoming a lone wolf empath is as unique as the individual themselves. These experiences may set the stage for someone to become a lone wolf empath, but they don't determine it. Now let's identify some common traits and characteristics of lone wolf empaths. First, there's a high sensitivity. Lone wolf empaths are like tuning forks for emotions and energy. They're acutely aware of the emotions within themselves and those swirling around them. This heightened sensitivity can make social settings overwhelming, often leading to a preference for solitude where they can process these energies at their own pace. Next, we have strong boundaries. With such a pronounced sensitivity to emotions and energy, it's no surprise that lone wolf empaths often develop well-defined emotional boundaries. These boundaries serve as a protective shield, helping them avoid emotional contagion and maintain their inner peace. They might seem distant or aloof to some, but in reality, they're just preserving their emotional equilibrium. Thirdly, their self-sufficiency. Lone wolf empaths are like cats who enjoy their own company. They find fulfilling activities in solitude and rely on internal resources for emotional support. Reading, meditating, creating art, or simply being in nature are some of the ways they recharge. This self-sufficiency is not to be mistaken for narcissism. It's rather a way of nurturing their emotional well-being. Lastly, we come to deep empathy. It might seem counterintuitive, but despite their preference for solitude, lone wolf empaths possess a profound ability to connect with others on an emotional level. Their empathy is not switched off when they are alone, but rather it's directed inwards, leading to a deep understanding of themselves and their feelings. And when they do form relationships, they are often close and selective, allowing them to invest deeply in those they connect with. These traits can make lone wolf empaths seem paradoxical they are deeply empathetic, yet they value their solitude. This seeming contradiction is what makes them uniquely equipped to navigate the world in their own way, balancing their intense empathy with the need for solitude. 
Remember, these are not individuals who are detached from the world, but rather they are deeply connected to it in their own unique way. Being a lone wolf empath is not without its challenges, but it also has its unique benefits. Let's dive into the intricate tapestry of the lone wolf empath's journey. Picture this. You're walking a path less trodden, navigating a world teeming with emotions you deeply feel, yet often find overwhelming. Loneliness and isolation can be constant companions. You understand others, but many struggle to understand you. Your preference for solitude can be misread as aloofness or disinterest, leading to social challenges. In a world that often mistakes quiet strength for weakness, your self-sufficiency and detachment may be mislabeled as narcissism. This misconception can cause confusion, even distress. It's a tough journey navigating these challenges, but it's important to remember that every cloud has a silver lining. Now, let's turn the coin and look at the other side. In the face of these challenges, lone wolf empaths often develop a formidable inner strength and resilience. Their journey fosters self-awareness, emotional intelligence, and an uncanny ability to weather life's storms. They become their own beacon of light, guiding themselves through life's labyrinth with an unshakable sense of self-reliance. Despite their preference for solitude, their deep empathy allows them to connect profoundly with others. It's not about quantity for them, but quality. They may not have a large circle, but the relationships they do form are often strong and authentic. They invest deeply in those they connect with, creating bonds that are built on a foundation of mutual respect and understanding. In essence, being a lone wolf empath is a journey of balance, balancing the need for solitude with the desire for deep, meaningful connections balancing the challenges with the unique strengths that they nurture. While the path of a lone wolf empath can be challenging, it can also lead to remarkable resilience and deep connections. It's about embracing the journey, appreciating the challenges as opportunities for growth, and celebrating the unique strengths that make lone wolf empaths the resilient, empathetic individuals they are. In closing, remember that the lone wolf empath experience is valid and unique. It's crucial to acknowledge this, respecting and understanding the journey that has shaped these individuals. There's no right way to be an empath. Each experience is as distinct as the person living it. If you're grappling with feelings of isolation or misunderstanding, don't hesitate to seek support. Whether you're a lone wolf empath or know someone who is, remember, you're not alone. Your empathy and strength are valuable. Find ways to connect with others who understand your unique experience. It can be enriching and fulfilling.